just do five a piece if I bought them all. She'll take that. You can, you can, you can. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to hit some garage sales.
Good morning. Morning, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Pretty good. Good. Is there somewhere I can make it like a little stack? Um, <laughs> you want to go ahead and put them over here? Yeah. Back here. Still looking around for a few more minutes. Randomly found this big sale. Let's get out and go. Classic. Beat up boombox.
Should you do a two on it? Yes, I will. Cool. Oops. There's one. Two. Thank you. Thank you. How much you think she'd do if I bought all the Barbies? The door's locked. Yes. 
got everything. Gotcha. On your car, Okay, so I got nine of them. And then there's that one, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do five a piece if I bought them all. Should take a you can five pieces. So how long is that? Forty-five. 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 I would say on these right because these are bigger. Yeah. You know, uh, I could do fifty, 50. for all of them. For on her part. Yeah. I'm over here. All right, let me sit down here. Okay. Let's check them out. Well, how much are you selling your... We're going to keep falling. Just let it. No, we can't let them fall. Okay, well, I'll pay for them. I don't know what he wants to do. It depends on what he's going to price them at. Okay. Um, Marissa, you want to do what I just did? Five dollars a piece. She'll do five a piece. Five a piece. Five a piece. Five a piece. Uh, there's... I right here, Marissa. You should have to look at, you know, if you can get ten of this. I, I think that would be fair. You do, do the five a piece, and if you yeah, that probably would be fair. Is that cool? Yeah. See, you can do it. Get a talk, goddammit. You all don't talk, man. I <laughs> damn. There's two. You got four, a up in here a while. There was over freaking a hundred of these. You know what these two? Oh, really? Huh? Am I all of them? Uh, I'll probably pass on this one, I think. Well, she'll, she'll give you a, a you know, to, to take them and, you know. I definitely want them. Just offer her, uh, you know, something. Yeah. I'm just trying to hurry. She's Six. really shy. That's <laughs> all right. Seven. Hey, Charlotte, can you go get your cup of that? Let me send you. I just can take them and, you know, and, and. Yeah, this is uh, 35 worth of these, and he said 10 on that, so okay. it's 45. Is that good? Uh, you do YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I go to garage sales, I just film them. Okay, yeah, we watch YouTube all the time. Why yeah. guys? Okay. Yep, I got you. What is up, guys? Just getting back from garage sales. We hit up a church sale. Then we hit up a bunch of garage sales. I went to a community sale down in Harrison, Ohio. I usually, I've went to it a few times. I kind of wasted my time going down there. There's another sale I really wanted to go to, but they weren't starting at like 11. So when I came back, I scored really good there, man. I got some really cool stuff, stuff that's worth money and some really like piece that you can't even put a price on. So let's get into it. uh first i went to that little church sale i was the only one in there for like 20 minutes they didn't really advertise it too well i seen it a 
coming home one week i seen the sign earlier in the week i seen the sign so we'll show you what i picked up there got this atmosphere for healing series one two and three collector's edition it's brand new um this should sell good i couldn't find a comp on it but i know this should uh i would say at least 30 bucks i didn't get a whole lot at that sale we got uh these two little washes there are 50 cents it's probably just costume jewelry kind of washes this is a wall waltham waltham kind of neat and we got this geneva i thought this was really cool too they both need batteries so it could be worth something i don't know <laughs> then i got this for my dad to put in his jeep he's always getting himself in predicaments somehow so got him this uh like kind of like army little shovel thing you can put this in your car it folds up it's really nice paid five bucks for that and this was the score at the church sale guys these books are called uh, my bible friends right were these from the 70s maybe 63 it says there anyways books for a quarter piece 10 for a buck and it just so happened that it had the whole set of 10 so i should be able to sell this set of 10 for a hundred bucks so that's pretty awesome a dollar into a hundred bucks at least there's no complete collections for sale right now so that's a good thing so i spent like nine bucks at that church sale so that was definitely good get myself in the sun shadow here got this uh when i went to the harrison uh, community sale i picked up the stephen king's rose red i've sold this 10 times guys it's 25 bucks all day long paid a buck for that and i wanted to pick this up because i still haven't washed this so make sure it's yeah it's in there so i paid two bucks for them and the only other thing i got in community sales was this ghostbuster car from mikey this is one of the newer ones I think this is from the girls movie but uh he'll have fun playing with it paid two bucks for that and uh we're gonna get into this uh big haul we got here okay guys so the rest of this stuff i pulled up to the sale it, it said like they were going to start at 10 30 or 11 so it was the last place i went back to i pull up there's two big tables of barbies and I've bought Barbies before. I've done okay with some. It said 10 bucks a piece, or if you buy a bunch, you know, we'll work with you. So I looked up a few of these Dolls of the Worlds, and these things sell pretty good. I've seen anywhere from like 20 to 70 bucks on a few of them. I didn't look every doll up, so I ended up getting them for five bucks a piece. So we got uh, Dolls of the World uh, Princess of Japan. Got the Princess of Cambodia. Princess of England, which I would assume that might be going good right now. Who knows? Princess of Ancient Greece. And all these are not in tip top shape. We got a, a remake of the Maladu Barbie. It's a reproduction. We got Star Wars Episode 1 Queen Amidala collection. Royal Elegance Queen Amadala. Kind of cool. Got a I Love Lucy. Lucy Ricardo. Then we got uh, another one from the episode 45 Sales Resistance. Another uh, Dolls of the World. Princess of Japan. Got a uh, James Dean, the American legend. So here's another one of these. We got another Dolls of the World Princess of the Vikings. Pretty cool. So we got six of those. Yeah, that's it for them. And we got uh, the Fair Fairytopia Enchantress. Silver label. And we got a Holiday Barbie from 2001. I don't think that's worth much. This, surprisingly, is worth some money. 
I would say at least 70 bucks. It's Dancing with the Stars uh, Paso Doble. So that's pretty cool. It's not in too bad condition. It's got a little. Definitely should make 50 bucks on that, being conservative. It's got this Holiday Visions Barbie. I didn't look this one up. It's got plastic around it, but the plastic has some dirt and stuff on it. So I'll probably just take that off. And we got this big uh, Barbie as Rapunzel uh, body celly and carriage. That sells pretty good. Uh, the box isn't great. It's got some water damage on the bottom. All right. Work with me, guys. Like I said, I barely had anything until I went to this last sale. That's just the way it goes sometimes. And we got this Barbie uh, Harpist Angel. This one's pretty neat. Just got the little harp in there. That one's pretty cool for a Barbie, right? All right, and I think that's it for the Barbies. Let me clear these off and we'll show you what else we got. All right, guys. So the guy said he had some records and that he had a record player outside. I asked if he had any records and he said, yeah. So I went in and looked at some more stuff. First up I picked out was this, uh, it's a really cool ET collectible, but this box is roach. It's been through some, been through hell. Look at it. Water damage, probably some mold. It's got a really cool ET like statue in there. This box requires three trip, three AA batteries, so I guess he talks to. This box is going right in the garbage, I think. And we're just gonna take ET out because he looks like he's in fine shape inside the box. This was an exclusive Toys R Us. Let's see, flashing light spaceship background. He says, "Phone home, be good." Glowing finger. Yeah, so this would be cool anyways out of the box. We don't need this in the box, right? Look at the bottom. So anyway, hey guys, we got the ET out of the box. We got the kind of cleaned up a little bit. It's got a light back there to light up. And that's the button you hit. And we're gonna check it out. Um, see how it goes. I turned this light off, so it could be. Oh man, that's way too dark. I know. See what the light does though. That's pretty awesome. His chest, his finger. I'll tell you how much I paid for all this this section here. Now the Barbies, I think I had 95 into the Barbies. So we got some records and stuff. I picked up this uh this Led Zeppelin book here. Thought it was cool. We got an ELO, New World Record album. <laughs> we got Roadhouse on Laserdisc. People had already went through the albums. Now this one was really cool. This Grand Funk shining on. It's got like some uh, kind of like 3D glasses inside the album and it's still there. I would assume this has to be worth something. I just got this because the cover looked cool. City to City by Jerry Rafferty. The Beatles Hard Day's Night soundtrack. This hard album, Dreamboat Annie. It's got like a picture disc. That was pretty cool. Don't have a date on it. Got a cheap trick. Classic, yes. That album covers is really cool. We got uh, Mick Jagger. She's the boss. We got some CDs here. ACDC. Aerosmith, Tom Petty, 
Forerunner, Fleetwood, Leonard Skinner. I always pick these up, man. That's a great soundtrack. Uh, Billy Joel, Greatest Sets 1 and 2. Eagles Hotel California. Another Grand Funk. The Ultimate Bee Gees. Purple Rain. Dark Side of the Moon. Heart Magazine. This uh, Jimi Hendrix DVD. And then we got this whole basket of uh, uh, 45s. He sleeved a lot of them up, so it's really nice. I didn't even go through them. I seen some, there was some decent stuff in here. But the sleeves is awesome. But yeah, I can't, I can't sit here and go through all these guys. You guys will be here forever. There's some disco, there's some rock. There's some Andy Gibb. Rolling Stones. There's just all kinds of stuff in here. Heart. There's at least there were 100 in here for sure. Could be some stuff in here. What was that? Selections from hair. Big notes, words, and chords. I guess I just threw that in. Yeah, but there's just tons of 45s in here. Like I said, if I go through them and I find some great stuff, I'll let you know, but I don't want to flip through them all, guys. But I got one really cool piece. It's my favorite thing I got today, and it's definitely one of a kind. So, guys, I wanted to show you we finally got some Shadju stickers. It's got the microphone, so let's get ready for some garage sales. My buddy Danielle over at uh, the YouTube channel Yard Sales and Dreams designed this for me. Make sure you go check her channel out, guys. I will put the link in the description. Her and her husband, they find some awesome stuff. Uh, I got to know her from going to the 127 yard sale every year. They always had some good stuff for sale. So thanks a lot, Danielle. I really appreciate it. I'm going to send you a few of these too. So uh, I don't know, guys. I guess I'll give them away if people buy stuff off the eBay store. If I see you out at garage sales, I'll just give you some, you know. I'm not trying to make money off of them, really. But I thought they were cool. Let me know what you guys think. All right, guys, this is it. This was in a thing with that ET. This is a this is a poem that some little girl wrote, I guess, when she was young. I think it was a girl. I'm not sure. Copy of the poem, The Race, that she wrote. So it's got the poem here that she wrote. Maybe at 12 years old, her mom sent this in. And then we got a picture of Richard Nixon. Actually wrote on to Terry with her name. With every with every good wish for the years ahead from Richard Nixon. And then we got the letter. Like, I'm not sure if that was actually signed. It doesn't look like it. I don't know if they did stampings back then or not. This is dated June 11th, 1968. But uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It says Richard M. Nixon Times Square Station. So this wasn't like from the White House. Um, I, I just don't know what to do with this. Like it's really cool. It's definitely, I think, has some water damage in it, I'm sure. But I couldn't leave it there. It was just really cool. And I'm pretty sure that signature is probably legit. What would you guys do with this? Reframe it. At least get the documents out. Get it authenticated. I'm just not sure what to do with it. It's pretty cool though. I, I'm really excited about that. That was probably my favorite pickup of the day. Really cool to just find something like that. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, like I said, I didn't have much till that last sale. So never go up. You never know what's going to happen. So definitely going to make some money. Got some work ahead of us. Uh, feels good to get back in the garage sales, don't it? But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, make sure you hit that like button if you're liking the garage sale videos because they're going to be coming all summer, man. So we're going to be out there hitting them, hitting them sales. If you want to keep seeing them, make sure you're subscribed. So uh, have a good one. Peace. Happy hunting.